Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to coverage of today's match between Dulwich Hamlet and Bow City from a busy Champion Hill. I'm Mark Stillman, sharing commentary duties with Sam Stevens, Bob Chester summarising. Seven points from nine has helped propel City into the playoff places in a packed league table, and today they face a side that know all about the end of season lottery. Dulwich were promoted by that method last term, having cruelly slipped up in five of the previous six seasons. As, uh, in fact, the teams are about to make their arrival. Kevin and Mank were leading out the Romans this afternoon, who are in their black and white stripes against the pink and navy blue of Dulwich Hamlet. So I'll go through these starting lineups. in fact. Both teams, we think, are playing 3-4-1-2. For Bow City, in goal, number one, Ryan Clark. Back three of Kevin Amankwa, Jack Button and Robbie Cundy. In midfield, we think it'll be James Morton, Michi Effetti, Frankie Artis and, Tom, and Joe Raines with Tom Smith behind Ross Stern and Adam Mann. We'll see how that shapes up as it goes on. On the bench of City, a couple of familiar faces return. Matt Richards in amongst the four this afternoon. Andy Watkins back on the bench for the first time since October. Harvey Wells Richards and Dan Ball, who's only a Appearance this season was against Dulwich Hamlet, where he claimed an assist in the 2 1 win. Dulwich have made three changes in their defeat against Eastbourne Borough. In goal is Preston Edwards, centre backs of Quade Taylor, Czech Tiore, and Michael Chambers, the captain. Wing backs of Nathan Green on the left and Anthony Cook on the right. Midfield, Ashley Carew, Nathan Ferguson with Jason Banton playing behind Dan Thompson and Jacob Erskine, who are both into the starting lineup. On the bench, dropping out from the 11 from Boxing Day, or from New Year's Day rather, Nyron Clunis and Depo Akinyemi, Jay Rich Bagaloo, Sanchez Ming and Dominic Vos returns from injury. The official referee is Jack Packman, assisted by Daniel Proctor and Scott Rudd. As Dulwich get this game underway, Carew plays it back to Michael Chambers, the captain, who's initially lost possession already to Adam Mann, who's been his own half. Mann plays it across goal, and Torre gets it away for the game's first corner, and straight away Adam Mann putting pressure on that nervous-looking Dulwich defence. Mann to Tate, sends it all into the six-yard box, it's just about clear, but Mann Betty takes the throw, receives it back off Adam Mann. Still a Fetty down the right-hand side, teasing the other side of Green. Goes inside to Mann, lines up a shot and drags it around six yards wide. No trouble for Preston Edwards. A Fetty now in 20 yards in goal in his more advanced position, which he's seen flourishing in. And Stern is flattened and 25 yards in goal from Ashley Carew. It's taken a long time eyeing this one up. Stern, can he get his aim right now? Straight into the wall. I think it came back off Cook last. Looks like Quay Taylor's over this. Right-footed delivery. Looking for the head of Banton. He's easily lost to Norton. Right start for City so far. They press Dulwich again. Man should be able to keep this in play down the right-hand side. Showing more desire to get that before Chambers. He's caught up with him now inside to a Fetty. Tricks inside. Oh, he's gone down. I think he might be cautioned for simulation right on the edge of the box. And uh, Torre is having a few words with him. And Fetty, who's never been booked for Varsity before, he's about to pick up his first yellow now in eight minutes. It looked, bit, looked a bit theatrical, I must be honest. It, it did. Uh, but the other thing is, the, the tackle was coming in. And sometimes you want to get out of the way. Artis. My button. After the ball, good ball, in fact. Smith, 20 yards out. It's a good move in City now. Fetty just inside the penalty area. Flashes it across goal. And man, there's appeals to Ham Ball. It's out to Morton now, 25 yards out. It's Artis. Dulwich got plenty of men behind the ball. Eight of them almost in the penalty area. So I had a man in space and he's headed it wide. In that whole posse of players, I had a man managed to find some room. Question marks have to be asked in the Dulwich defence. And I think man perhaps will think he should have done a bit better. Yeah. Reigns keeps it in now. Tries to fire it in. Not. Artis gets there first before Cook. Reigns again on the left hand side. This time he gets a ball in Stone and a header and over the top. That was a more difficult chance than the one from Man a few moments ago. Probably around eight yards out, but he would have done well to direct it goalwards. It's gone just over the top. Ferguson wins the header. Morton passing away. He's lost out this time with Banton. He slipped in behind. This time he is onside. Is Thompson wide of goal though. Stays on his feet. Stays on the other side of the man. Thompson. Draws it in, or it's somehow saved by Clark. A bit, uh, unorthodox, I'd say. It's now a green on the left hand side. It's now she's going Banton. He's drifted out north to the left. He's cutting inside now. He's held up a ninth goal. He's gone down. He waves his arms out. 
exaggerated it and uh, City play on with the Fetti. Looks for Man on the right side, Torre to get there first. And he uh, clears the ball somewhere towards the Sainsbury supermarket. Ross Stern on the halfway line is clattered but managed to keep possession and then the foul on Jason Banton. About 35 yards from goal there by City. A little bit clumsy in the tackle. Ashley Carew with this free kick. It's actually about 40 yards out. Only one man in the wall. Well over him into the penalty area. Pundy did well to just nudge it out to the edge of the penalty area. Fetty drills it against the knees of Green. He's going to get across in here. Stands it up and it's really well clutched out of the air by Clark. Old January day, although not as cold as I was expecting, I have to say. It's oh, well, that's good. well held up there by Erskine in front. Thompson rolled it into the path of Banton into the penalty area. Magma had to get that tackle just right. He did, but it falls for Green, and then he was just overran the ball slightly, and City got enough numbers behind to win possession back. And now it's slipped into a Fetty. Over the halfway line he comes. This is a good counter-attack by City. He's got two or three options. Finds nearly Smith, but Stern's at the ball off Smith's feet there. Curls into the back post. Oh. Fetty tries to flip, and the offside flag is up. Stern. Just in just a little bit further in field, just tries to clip the ball in towards Effetti, but Smith overhit it slightly, and then it's touched back by Green, and then the defensive area, they nearly get themselves into a spot of bother there, Dulwich Hamlet, but it's cleared away by Green, up to halfway. I think Effetti might have gone in for that, and being picked, and decided not to. Perhaps wisely, and then Peru tried to find a lovely little pass in field on the right-hand side, across into the penalty area, and then it's well gathered by Clark. Coming on, a Tuesday game. We've got another choose. Gonna have a look. Oh, it's slipped in for Smith. He's in on goal here, Smith, and it's a superb defensive challenge, and it nearly crawls over the line anyway. Really good block by Chambers. Smith found himself in that little pocket just inside the D. Had a free shot at goal, it looked like, but somehow Chambers managed to get back and block the shot. Jason Banton in the centre circle. Lays it off, still in the centre circle with Peru. Chips it forward, looking for space, but it's tied to Fetty. We've seen a few misplaced passes in this first half. Smith tries to flick it forward towards... Stern, and then he moves it on nicely towards Mann and dropped back towards Ross Stern, but again Chambers is going to be favourite to that, and he touches it back to Edwards, clears a little bit hurriedly there, met by Artis, heads it forward, and now Mann could find himself in on goal here, he's been typed and pulled around, referee shakes his head, says no foul, and then back it goes to Peru again, 40 yards from goal, central position, just drops the shoulder, looks to take a shot, takes another drop of the shoulder again into the edge of the penalty area, rolled off well by Thompson to the right-hand side, Cross comes into the penalty area by Cook over everybody and the header of the back post under a little bit of pressure there, Nathan Green. Coming in from left wing back, Morton. Just turns away from the defender nicely, rolls it into Stern, and Stern is then looked like he was fouled. The referee said no, and then Carew is challenged. There's been a few challenges in there. That's a really poor tackle, I have to say. The referee took a long time to whistle there. That looked like, and we could see it very, very clearly because it was right in that front of us, that challenge from Nathan good, Ferguson, it? and it looked like the stud was up. Stoppage time, don't think there'll be too much of it at the end of this first half. Morton's going to take this free kick left footage, chips it in towards the back post. It's headed on and towards Stern, who claims he's being held back. Referee says no, the one who closed the down initially and then battened as well, turns very casually and looks up. Right footed, drills it long towards the edge of the penalty area. Stern's never going to win a header against a couple of big centre backs, but Effetti finds a bit of space here, just gets the ball under control, does well, finds Artis. 40 yards out, Artis Frankie chips it. Great, but he's been playing so well. Yeah, terrific pass that to Stern on the right. Stern is just attacking the defender, Chambers, up against him. Couple of step overs, two, three, four, five. Eventually crosses with the outside of the right foot. And the volley comes in, and a good save down low by Preston Edwards. It was Adam Mann with the volley. The referee's actually signalled here for an offside, another offside, but good move that from Stern and, and Mann. Ward is just about to come out here and show us exactly how many minutes of stoppages we will get. Banton on the left again, seen a lot of the ball in this first half, but not done too much with it so far. He turns away from a couple of challenges, looking to do the Ross Stern step over, looking to get a cross in, and it's defended well by Manqua, who's stuck to his guns well there. That's Morton loses that in midfield, it's now Artis. Tries to play it through, all man tries to turn away from his opposition defender as Cook clears it. Really looking, it's picked up though, well brought down in the end from Banton. It's a stroke of luck about it. He's running down the left hand side, facing Morton. And Mankwell eventually gets the tackle in. Morton there to tidy up. And good ball actually, he's found range on the left hand side, a bit of space, and even more space for Stern now down the left hand side, not really under any pressure. He's almost gone towards a corner flag now. He's now watching Taylor. Stern's got the other side in there on the byline, he's just kept in and it's headed away from Ferguson, as well as Artis, and he's driven it straight against Joe Reyes, unintentionally ran straight into the way of that, but Reyes has picked up again on the left-hand side, watching Cook, Reyes 
gets into the post, the flag goes up. It's a spectacular save in the end from Edwards and a curling cross, well palmed away. And I think it was Stern who's straight into an offside position. Button gets there first, looking for his goalkeeper, Clark. And that best of clearance is, although he's lucky he's found artist, just inside the penalty area. And clearance is completed. A man's beaten in the air from Torre. There's no Smith, and a little bit of space away from Kuru, running central, Stern's up ahead of him. He's going to backtrack a bit, he's found Effetti. Stavdanic getting numbers back quite quickly, and perhaps City a little bit too ponderous going forward. Slipped in again, looking for Adam Mann, who slides towards it, and he does manage to connect with it. In the end, it's a comfortable save from Edwards. Well in for Truro 1. Pass the Truro coach on the way over, actually. Oh, and Button's missed the ball through. Thompson, Frank Cook on the right hand side, and uh, Cumby covers for his central defensive partner, and it's gone behind for a corner to Gullet. A rare lapse from uh, the city number five. Crew, right footed. It's finally spot, it should be Clark. Oh, he's dropped it, and just a panic manages to gather it at the second attempt. He went through a crowd of body. In fact, it's a very good throw out to Fetty on the right hand side. Brilliant spot from the city number one. Now Fetty charging down the right towards the penalty area. He's still going with Fetty and he's into the opposite number of Preston Edwards. But what an assist that was from Ryan Clark. Yeah, That's fantastic throw out. Yeah. Here's Morton, we go inside the Delich half, finds Reigns on the left hand side. Coming inside of Cook and uh, Kree picks up the loose balls, he always seems to. He seems to be in the right place. He finds Banton now on the left hand side. Away from a couple of names, and the overlapping run of Green, enterprising run from the uh, wing back, trying to get across the middle, and Cumbie gets there first, and his clearance finds Morton, and backtracking the defenders, a terrible clearance though from the uh, midfielder. Puts City back in the trouble, but Dulwich don't make the most of it, and that's really been the story of the game so far. They've had a few little openings, Dulwich. Dulwich's last nil now was against Wingate and Finch, but they can take again, they can match under a mistake there, and I think Artis could be. Caution for a foul on Ferguson, who was booked in the first half, and there, I think it's three games running now. Frank Yartis has picked up a yellow card. Sitting second player in the book this afternoon. The passing taker as well. Got towards the 18 yard box. That's held on from Torre, but straight into the hands of Ryan Clark. Comfortable save. He's found Rain, plays at the outside of his feet, and really managed to find Stern, but well covered from Kirk. Artis wins a header on the Smith in the centre of the field. Still got the ball, Smith. Finds a Fetty, got there before Green. Central now, Fetty. Man, falls back a bit. Held a little bit, it looked like, because the ninth is now in a forward position. And Fetty, certainly getting them going the ball quickly. Make it difficult to break down. Almost looking more like an away side. It's been a different game to the one we saw at Twerton, where both teams find more space to exploit. Clunas has made over 400 appearances, scored just over 100 goals for the club. Starting out of the right back here, but he's worked his way further up the pitch. Scored on Boxing Day against Eastbourne. There's a lot of approval from the home fan. Cundy turns over in trouble well. Start. That was very cool play. Yeah, can Yemi breathing down his neck. Took more chance than that I would have uh, anticipated. And Fetty uses that, so we're for the ball to go out of play. So that Sam Stevens going to take over, but City on a promising attack now. It's with Fetty down the right hand side, approaching the penalty area. A couple of step overs, gets to the byline, chips all the way back, or oh, it's a little bit too long for Ross Stern. And Cook hacks it out the ground, and with that, I will swap places with Sam Stevens, who will take his lead to full time. Like a spider's web. <laughs> On the right-hand side with Effetti, who's uh, got an opportunity to just find a bit of space, taking on the challenge of Green. Looking to go for a cross, but instead shapes, plays it back instead to Morton. Left edge, right edge of the penalty area. Infield, it goes to Frankie Artis, who, as Bob says, had a very solid game in centre midfield. Now to Ross Stern, just turns away from the challenge of the defender, tries a long-range speculative effort, and that's dragged well wide of goal. So still no breakthrough, Bob, and it doesn't look likely at this moment in time. I wonder whether both sides might take this. I think certainly from City's point of view, an away draw is not the end of the world, although looking to get into those playoff positions. Three points can be won. There's a little bit of a foul there. Now, this is the opportunity where you've got the free kick and you can get Robbie Candy up and Jack Van to add a bit of fight in there. Um, 
because uh, they're not going to get that there from uh, Josses with uh, just the short uh, forwards up there. So both those players are going up with the uh, reins and the main foot back. But uh, they're holding a high line, the, uh, the uh, Dutch defence on the edge of the area. See what a good cross in. Morton is he drills it in towards Kundi, headed away well. And Dunwich, and then it's up to the edge of the area. Smith comes in, Kundi again. If he goes, John is in and in! Tom Smith it is, who fires the shot into the net, high into the roof. He just slashed at it somewhat, really, but it was quite a, a good finish, actually. Beyond we got the outstretched reach of Preston Edwards into the roof of the net. And with 17 minutes remaining, it's Dunwich Hamlet nil, Bar City 1. Yeah, and that's just what was needed because it was that free kick. Robbie Kundi won the header, it dropped down, and uh, Tom Smith lashed it. A real power drive, smashed it into the net, giving the keeper no chance at all. So uh, that free kick worked, and that is just what City needed to get 1-0 up here with just uh, 18 minutes to go. Rob, you prognosticated that brilliantly. I did what? And <laughs> anticipating that that might drop the Kundi into the box. Well, I'll but, take a tablet uh, for that later. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting bit of trivia that Mark Stillman has just fed me, as he's wont to do. City have had eight different scorers in the league this season and all eight have now scored both home and away. Something for the scrapbook. Tom Smith flicks it on and it's into the area for Effetti but he's offside. Preston Edwards comes anyway. Seven to eight minutes. Put it over the top towards Clunis who's just running into that right-hand channel and then he's got the better of a decision there up against Jack Batten. Tries to cross into the box but it's too close to Ryan Clark, who's handling as usual is excellent. Looked like it might have been a foul on this right hand oh, side I thought Jack Batten was definitely foul. And then it's Chambers, who's going to head it back to his goalkeeper. It's a real shocking mistake. It must be the second goal. It's an absolute disaster for the home side as Ross Stern taps in on the line. Chambers headed it back over his own goalkeeper, who'd come out to meet the ball back into the box. And as it went over his head, Stern anticipated it and tapped it in, and that is 2 0 and should be all over there. Yeah, that, that was a gift. It's my second penalty day, so I to run out. Um, both seem to be full. Yeah, that was just an absolute gift. And uh, yeah, that should hopefully put this game to bed. Um, but as, as Matt Richard is now going to come on. Yes, and he'll be replacing Effetti. We hope it's not for the last time for Bath City, as we say with his loan coming up for renewal. What a calamity that was for Dulwich Hamlet, who have defended reasonably well, but they just looked a little bit shaky there, didn't they, in their defensive area? Yeah, and uh, just a slight check. Joe Rain has gone to right back now. Up towards halfway for the home side, who looked a little bit bereft in the second half, it has to be said. All over the top looking for the run of Akinyemi. Now he does collect it. 30 yards out, but rolls it into his strike partner Clunis, and then good defending by Amankwa who tidies up, plays it out for a throw. That was really educated defending there. For the city substitute, is it going to be Andy Watkins or not? I can't see it at the moment. The board is up. Underneath us, it is going to be Watkins, and it's going to be for Tom Smith. So that's going to be the last change. Two minutes. Left hand side now with Banton, who's been very, very quiet in the second half, shackled really by City. He's trying to cut Pinsfield to try for a shot, and it's a daisy cutter well wide, and that might be the last chance of the game really for Dulwich Hamlet. 30 seconds or so to go now. I think he's really just ticking down, isn't it? Played forward by Carew, but that was a bit aimless, and Pundy will tidy up. Drill it right footed forward, looking for Watkins, who's had a couple of touches, looked right as he's come on. And now with Reigns, who's just into the penalty area here. Still going Reigns, and does well. Cuts back to Watkins and Reigns again. Looking to get across him, it's back with Watkins, who's going to cut into the penalty area here. Watkins goes down under a challenge. Referee says no foul. Could easily have been given, but probably just sparing the home side there. Watkins may have just stumbled. Difficult to tell from this angle. And now it's on the left-hand side with Akinyemi. Last chance for the host, surely, here. Akinyemi into the box, tries to cut it across, but excellent defending again by Kendi. Goes down, wins the ball, and it's out of play for a corner. And this will be the last kick of the game. Into the box, it's headed away well. That's the last kick of the game, and job really, really well done for Bath City this, this afternoon here in Dunwich Hamlet. And finishes 2 0. Goals from Tom Smith, who slashed in after 74 minutes as the ball just dropped to him nicely in the area. Super finish, and then an offensive mix up between Michael Chambers and Preston Edwards.
Chambers heading over his own goalkeeper, expecting him to be on his line, which he wasn't, and the beneficiary was Ross Stern, who tapped in from virtually on the line. So, Bob, you have to say, a job very well done from Barca team. Yeah, that's two, two games away from home, 2-0, two 2-0 nil, two nil at West End, 2-0 here. Uh, no goals conceded in the last three games, only two in the last, what, five. So, that is really, really good from Barca City. Uh, keeps the well, keeps the one in the playoffs and uh, a very professional performance here and uh, you know in front of a big crowd and uh, always always different to come to places like this. Uh, but the city are proving that they've got the pedigree to uh, to do this and uh, you know, every game is going to be important now. Way game at Slough on Tuesday night and uh, hopefully a similar result can be achieved. Do you think there's a growing sense of belief in this squad now? The playoffs may be a possibility. I think, you know, if you're in the playoffs and you stay in the playoffs and you keep performing like this, you keep picking up points, yes. Uh, they're not, you know, not going to go through the rest of the season undefeated. There will be one or two hiccups, but uh, they will be with other teams as well. And I think we're retaining these players who've been on loan and possibly, you know, we've got this uh, Hines from Bristol City. If he can show that he's like McCluskey or uh, um, Anton Semenya can do similar sort of things for us that those players did in the last two seasons and really show some power, pace and goal scoring ability. That will add to the uh, the squad. So yeah, all in all, a very good day. Well, thank you very much for your contributions this afternoon. As always, absolute pleasure. All the best to you, and see you again soon. Thank you very much, and to you.